Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Now normally on these videos, I like to share a lot of fun school lunch ideas, but since this week we're on spring break, I'm gonna be sharing five dinner ideas instead. So stay tuned. Okay friends, just a few things before we get started. First up, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like fun dinner ideas. Now on to the weekly shout out. This week it's going to Heather Arnold and our Instagram shout out is going to Morgan Small. For next week's shout out, I have a special challenge. Instead of the shout out going to whoever leaves the first comment, it's going to go to the first person who correctly guesses next week's special lunch theme. And I'll give you a hint, it's going to be a Disney character, but it's not a princess and it's not an animal. So leave your guesses down below and the first person who gets it right will get a shout out next week. Now let's get started. Good evening friends and happy Monday. For tonight's dinner I went super simple by making some meatball subs. Let me show you how I made them. I started with some thawed out fully cooked meatballs. To this I added some marinara sauce I like to use this kind I get from Costco, it's really tasty. Next, I added lots and lots of shredded mozzarella cheese, because in my opinion, that's the best part. Then I stuck them in the oven until they are warmed through and browned on top. To go along with dinner tonight, I'm also giving the kids some raw vegetables. Sometimes I'll cook them, but today has been a really hot day, so I thought I would just keep them nice and cool and raw. So we have some broccoli and some carrots, and some homemade ranch to dip it in right there. Oh yes, and in this corner I just have a little bit of cottage cheese. To drink, the kids are just gonna have some water. Does it look good, Jackson? Uh-huh. I think Lily's only gonna eat a portion of this sandwich. This looks like a lot for her, so she'll probably share some of that with Griffin. I will see you after dinner. Okay guys, dinner time is over and I have all of my kids with me, including Griffin, say hello. Hello. Good job. So what did you guys think of dinner tonight? It was really good. What was your favorite part, Kenzie? The, the hot dog meatballs. The sandwich, yeah? Yeah. What did you like, Jackson? I liked the saga and the, the cottage cheese. But what happened with your vegetables? Uh, I put too much ranch on one. He didn't need his vegetables. We're going to have to work yeah. on that. And this sandwich was a little bit too much for Lily. She did share some with Griffin, but there's quite a bit left. So. I'll definitely give them a little bit less next time. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. Good job, Lily. So for tonight's dinner, I made one of our special recipes. I like to call it a quesadonga, which is basically a quesadilla with a hot dog rolled up inside. The kids love them. I just took a tortilla. Now mine are actually uncooked tortillas, so I had to cook them first. And I also warmed up my hot dogs. I like to use the all beef uncured hot dogs. Next, I added some cheese to my tortillas. And when the cheese was all melted, I rolled my hot dog up inside. For our veggies tonight, I also roasted some asparagus. I like to trim off the stems, add a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. And I try to cook these until they're soft but not mushy. Back over in this corner, I also gave the kids these little swords with olives and tomatoes. And in here we have a little bit of ketchup to dip our quesadongas in. And then to drink, I'm giving the kids a little bit of milk. Does it look good, Lily? Yeah! Now, I gave her kind of a lot. She might end up sharing with Griffin. After dinner, we'll show you how we did. Okay guys, dinner time is over now and they did not do the best job today. Everybody has something left, or quite a bit left actually. Mackenzie ate all of her quesadonga. She did pretty good on her asparagus but she only ate one little tomato. What happened? I don't like tomatoes and I don't like olives. You don't? Well, Jackson did really good on his quesadonga. There's just a few bites left, but he didn't eat any asparagus. Did you even try the asparagus, Jackson? No. Why, asparagus is good. I don't really like the look of it because it kind of looks greasy. Well, I cooked it in a little bit of olive oil and salt. It's good. And Lily, look what she did. She took the hot dog out and left the tortilla and the cheese. What happened, Lily? Um, I was full. You were full. 
Did you try your asparagus? Uh-huh. She likes some of it. Yeah, she wasn't a fan of the asparagus either, but I thought it was really good. I left the bottoms because it was like a little bit harder. They're a little bit tougher at the end, yeah. Well, we will try better tomorrow. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Wednesday. Okay guys, I just finished up with dinner. Let me show you what I made. I wanted to go with some sloppy joes today, but I haven't had good success feeding it to the kids the traditional way on a bun. So I thought I'd try a different way today by making sloppy joe biscuit cups. So I made my sloppy joe meat as I normally would. If you've never tried the Pioneer Woman recipe, it is the best. And then I also took some biscuit dough and I used half of one biscuit in each muffin cup. And to make these easy to get out, I used my silicone liners. I got my biscuit dough in there and then added a couple of spoonfuls of the sloppy joe mixture. And then I just cooked this for about 10 minutes. When they came out of the oven, I sprinkled a little bit of cheese on top. Does it look good, you guys? Yeah! Okay, so to go along with today's dinner, I also made some sweet potato fries, and I actually cooked these in my air fryer, so it was really fast. And they're crispy like they're fried, but they're not really fried. For our vegetable today, I'm giving the kids a spinach salad, and I went ahead and put lots of this green goddess salad dressing. They've never had this before, but it tastes a lot like pesto, and they like pesto, so I hope you guys will give it a try. It smells really good, I like it. Now for dipping, I am giving the kids a little bit of ketchup, and then in this corner, I have a special dessert. Do you guys know what it is? Cinnamon rolls. It's actually orange rolls. Those are my favorite. I actually like those more than cinnamon rolls. They are so tasty. Okay, so here's the deal, you guys. I want you to make sure to eat lots of your salad and your actual dinner before you eat your dessert, okay? They're looking at me kind of angry right now. Okay, do your best. Do your best with your dinner, and then you can have your dessert. Okay? Okay. Oh yes, and I'm just gonna give them water to drink because they've got a lot going on here. And we'll see you after dinner. Okay guys, dinner time is over now and some of the kids liked it and some of them not so much. What'd you think, Lily? It was good. It was good? No. I had to basically force her to eat this and she didn't really like it. So maybe I wouldn't make that for her again. But she did eat most of her salad and everything else. Of course, she ate the cinnamon roll, right? Was that your favorite? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And Jackson, he was pretty much forced to eat his salad, and they only ate one of these little cups. It was a little bit good. A little bit good? Apparently, these are really filling, so probably one is enough for each child. Those Although, are really good. Yeah, Mackenzie, you liked them, right? She yeah, ate all of hers. Too. Good job, Mackenzie. Thank you. Jackson, what was your favorite part? I like the cinnamon roll, the sloppy joe, and the fries. Yeah. Wow, the fries are really good. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Hi guys, guys, and happy Thursday. Now, I actually meant to make this dinner on Tuesday because of Taco Tuesday, but I forgot. But that's okay, it's still gonna be good, right guys? Yeah. <laughs> now, this was Lily's request. She's really been wanting tacos for several days, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so I started by taking some leftover hamburger meat that was already cooked and I turned it into taco meat. I added some pinto beans, I added some taco seasoning, and a little bit of water and let this cook away for a few minutes. When the beans were nice and soft, I went ahead and turned it off and then I used my potato masher to mash it up. We really like a creamy consistency for our taco filling. Right guys? Yeah. yeah. Is it your favorite? Yeah, and this kind of looks like a burrito. Yeah, it's kind of like the filling of a burrito. That's how we eat them at our house. So I gave the kids each a little bit in this bowl and the whole idea is for them to make their own tacos. So they have everything they need. Here's enough meat for one or two, maybe three tacos, depending on how hungry they are. Over in this corner, I have a little bit of Mexican blended cheese. I also cut up lots of iceberg lettuce, which is perfect on tacos. And then in this corner, I actually have some Spanish rice. And this was fully cooked rice. All I had to do was stick it in the microwave. It was super easy. And this actually has quinoa in there as well. And a little bit of corn. So to make this really easy for the kids, I'm using our new taco stands. 
We have these smaller ones this time that we're trying out. I found these at Walmart. So all the kids have to do is put their little taco in here. I'm using the street size mission tacos. They're like perfect and so small and cute. So they just have to stick their little tortilla right in there and it'll hold it open for them as they're building it. So it's gonna make it a lot easier. So for Lily, I just gave her one tortilla to start off with. And for the bigger kids, I gave them two so they can fill one and eat it and then fill the other one and eat that. Does it look good? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. Do you think it needs anything else? No. I was gonna give you olives, but this looks like enough food. So, so after dinner. We'll show you what we ate. How do you make your tacos, Lily? Um, I do it by cheese first, this next, this next, and this last. And sour cream? Uh-huh. Okay guys, dinner time is over, and right now I have just Mackenzie here helping me. Say hi. Hi. So what do you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. Yeah, everybody did a really good job. I don't see much left over at all. So I will definitely be making tacos again. Oh, Lily's coming to join us. Say hi. Hi. Did you like your special dinner? Yeah. I almost ate all of it. Are tacos your favorite? Uh-huh. Did these little taco holders work well? Yeah, they yeah. did. Yeah, and they're much easier to use than the dinosaur ones that we used last time. They fit better on the plate, too. I will see you on tomorrow. Hi, guys, and happy Friday. Good job. Right now, I've got Lily and Jackson with me. Say hello. Hello. So on Fridays, I often like to stick a frozen pizza in the oven, but tonight, I decided to try something new and fun. We made mac and cheese pizzas. Let me show you how I made them. I started by making our favorite mac and cheese. This is the Horizon Cheesy Deluxe Mac and Cheese. It is so good. Now to make this a little bit more saucy for our pizzas, I added extra cheddar cheese and a splash of milk. And then the kids actually got to help make their own pizza. Lily just wanted cheese. Jackson wanted pepperoni and extra cheese. And Mackenzie, she made a hidden Mickey on hers. And then I stuck these under my broiler for about five minutes, just to heat it through and brown it up a bit. Now to go along with our dinner tonight, I am giving the kids a nice healthy salad, but this is one that they'll actually eat. This is the sweet kale salad. It comes with a yummy poppy vinaigrette. There's also pumpkin seeds in there and cranberries. It's definitely one of our favorites. Oh yes, and I'm also giving the kids a few cherry tomatoes, and I have these really cute picks that were sent to me by Emma. Thank you, Emma, these are adorable. What do you guys think of these cute little picks? Yeah, you see that I they're, like them. they're eyeballs. Yeah, I like them. Thank you, Emma. Mine has heart-shaped sunglasses. <laughs> I love that one, that is so cute. And lastly today, I'm just giving the kids a little bit of this blueberry probiotic drink, basically because I'm trying to use it up before it goes bad. And that is all for the dinner tonight. After they're done, I will show you what they ate. Dinner time is over and here's what we ate. Okay, so you can tell Mackenzie ate everything. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was good. Yeah, and Jackson did pretty well. He left his juice. He wasn't a fan of the juice. You don't like it? Yeah, I like it. You're gonna drink it now? Uh-huh. He also left one tomato but he ate all of his salad, which I'm kind of surprised about. And then Lily did really well too. She left a little bit of a crust and one tomato. So what do you think of the mac and cheese pizza? It was really good. Yeah, I gave some to Griffin and he loved it. But they had a request. Next time let's just have regular pizza. Okay. And we'll see you next week. Okay guys, now let me know in the comments down below which dinner was your favorite. Also, don't forget to leave me your guess for next week's special themed lunches. Now if you'd like to see last week's video, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, which was a Costco haul, you can do that by clicking on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.